Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman. Welcome back to another run through. And today we find ourselves in Ackworth, Georgia. And we're actually in a neighborhood, uh, we're on Daylily. And we've been in this neighborhood so many times over the last probably 12 years, I'd say. And you'll hear some saws in the background. There's two houses being reworked, several houses down. And the sad thing about it is the way that work's being done over there. We'll go to those houses in two or three years and be doing a lot of the same repairs you're going to see over here. It's really difficult to get decent quality contractors to do these exterior repairs. The challenge in Georgia is everyone thinks they're a contractor. It's not just Georgia, but I know this market really well. We've been here 25 years. And so this house, as you bounce around, this homeowner's hired contractors to work here and gotten work done, and it's, it's yuck. Uh, it's just it does, It's baffling to me some of the things that they do. Some of these guys come out and they charge premium product pricing and they say they're the best in Atlanta and blah, blah, blah. A couple things to look out with contractors, and we've said this so many times. If they're not in a labeled vehicle, they don't have a business card, they don't have a website, they don't have a commercial location somewhere, um, they don't give you a, a decent bid that they can email to you or print it off in person. These guys that we were at a house last week, someone scrawled out a bid on, on a napkin basically and gave it to the customer. Uh, and the customer told me she showed a, she showed that person our bid and all he did was say we'll do all that same work for half the price as andy well and that's great it does you want details you want quality materials they're going to use how they're going to do it um you can see this window right here was repaired by somebody else and they put in a a vinyl brick mold which you wouldn't want to use anyway because there were shrubs here he only painted part way on the trim whatever he could reach he didn't you know cut the trim back or cut the bushes back to actually get in here and he didn't address any of the rot in this lower sash right here. Fixing windows is a specialty at Handy Andy. It's expensive to get done, but it's a lot cheaper than replacing this whole window. When you look at a, a bay window like this, the window trim's decent. But you can see where the fellow walked on the window and he didn't even bother caulking the edges. Then, instead of using a single piece of nose across the front here, he cut it in half and then pieced it in. So we want a single piece of nose any repair trim that you're using needs to be back primed and sealed. We just do that standard at Handy Andy. If our guys don't do it, they're fired. We check every job. You know, we've got someone formatting every single job. It's either me, my brother, or one of our guys is coming back to make sure this stuff is done right. So here again, you can see where he's replaced the, the molding with PVC. You never want to use PVC molding anywhere in Atlanta, especially on stucco, because like this fella, he didn't bother caulking the bottom end. Just see the joints right here? And over here, see that black line right in there? He never caulked it. So now, because this is PVC, it won't rot to let you know that there's a problem. Now the framing's gonna rot. You're gonna get termites in the stucco. It's gonna dry rot the frame. Instead of a $100 repair, now you've probably got a $5,000 repair, plus mold remediation, if it gets to that point. You wanna catch this stuff early on. As many times as this house has been painted over the last 25, 26 years, they never caulked the sashes in the frames of these windows. And that's what's causing them to rot. So for this homeowner, we're going to give him two bids. One, to repair all the rotted wood. And a second one, to hand paint this house. He's going to get ready to sell it. And because it's stucco and it's LP siding in the back, hand painting is the only way to go on this one. Yeah, he can get those fellas down the street to do it a little bit cheaper. But there won't be the kind of warranty and they won't get the kind of coverage that they get from us. On these metal mansard roofs, if you've got one of these at your house, we see these repairs all the time. you got to seal that bottom edge. Capillary action sucks back water. About 2% of the water comes off this roof, goes back until it hits this wood right here, as you can see, and it's all rotted out. So on the left side right here, the, the cap, the crown, and the freeze board right here all need to be repaired and replaced. At the front entry, this would cost them about $2,500 to replace this door. Um, the big box retailers have mismeasured it twice. Uh, this should have already been replaced for them. This is a very expensive repair now to do, uh, but we can knock it out for them. We'll repair the, the radius brick mold here. We'll replace the nose and sill on this thermopane window. Now, the seals are blown in both of these windows. He knows that. That can come up on an inspection repair item. We'll replace the cap all the way across here. We'll repair the, the rotted base, bases here on the side lights, uh, the rotted brick mold. And we'll actually replace these two centers, right and left, will be replaced entirely. Left and right rotted frames will be replaced. Uh, the painters will come in and fix the stucco here and detail this out. This left triple window, and you can see where someone's repaired it rapport. 
I, we'll probably replace this nose all the way across. I don't think we can repair it now. It's only rotted in the center. We'll repair this rotted center right here. We don't replace the whole center. We piece in what's rotted. We like the dentist. We back prime everything all the way around, and that's how we do it. This left fascia and soffit here in the corner, whoever's been paying to clean these gutters, haven't cleaned the downspouts, and you'll see the damage as we go around. It doesn't do you any good to pay a gutter company to come out here uh, twice a year to clean your gutters if they're not cleaning the downspouts. It's a total waste of time. There's a little bit of rot in this window at the left and right centers on this window. A lot of them, the inner frame is rotted too, so we'll include that in the repair. But you'll see our carpenters, they'll jump all over this house. Uh, the second story window right here, we got rotted center, rotted left and right brick mold. And instead of doing what this guy did, he didn't have the carpentry skills, so he's replacing a whole piece of stick. And what kills me is they'll tell homeowners PVC is the best way to go, it's maintenance free. I'm here to tell you, I own a lot of houses, I don't have PVC on any of my houses. Uh, and if anybody, including me, ever comes to you and tries to sell you something on your house is maintenance free, just shake hands and walk away because you're fixing to get something bad done to you. That's just the way it is. This window in here, you can see where this fellow replaced the nose here. He didn't caulk anything at all, uh, and he repaired the brick mold on both sides. Left and right have been replaced with PVC. We're going to leave them now. It's here. We'll paint it. It is what it is. You're not going to be able to get a good shot here, but everything on the roof line, so this, the main part above the roof here on the front right corner we'll repair that rotted fascia both dormers left and right to both sides the fascia where it sits against the roof is rotted and again you're gonna be hard to press to get the video in here but on the left dormer the left and right brick molds are both rotted and on the right dormer uh, one of these dormers I forget which one I think the right one the, the lower sash is rotted as well we're the only company that I know of that'll take that rotted wood we'll router it out we'll piece in new wood not bondo don't let people put bondo on your house it's a terrible repair it lasts maybe three to six months the wood fungi that causes wood rot is anaerobic so when you put bondo over it it, it just gives it a hotel six and it go crazy and there's more rot to deal with so don't do it these windows are here are decent the right front garage window the right brick mold and the uh the inside frame see the rot right there so ever see that kind of it looks like it's it's soft it's got a wave in the wood you know you can just put your finger in it. And we've actually walked this house really thoroughly with the owner, so he knows what he's looking at here. On the garage, we can go ahead and repair. If you've got a rotted garage frame like this, it's an expensive repair, but we can repair it instead of replacing this whole door. And then caulk it up and paint it and make it look good. Both windows on the right side, you've got the nose here and the right brick mold on the left window. On the right window, it's left and right mold and frame and the nose. So this is the wrinkling I'm talking about, and you'll see this on a lot of our videos. When you see that wrinkling right there, it just tells you if you were to get up on a ladder, you put your hand right through it. It's gone. And the problem with this stuff is when they built these things in the factory, they're air stapled, they're not caulked, they're not primed. They just slap them in as cheap as they can. You'll see these windows on million dollar houses. Unless you spec the materials going into your house, it's going to be the junkiest stuff possible. That's how they make money. We've got a stucco repair to do over here where the house has settled a little bit. Uh, one of the things you want to do with these pairs, a lot of people just come in and caulk it, but then it won't have the textured pattern in the stucco. So we come in and texturize it. You'll still be able to see there's repair there, but because we're going to be repainting this whole house, it'll blend out you won't see it. The left and right frame on this garage door right here are both rotted. You can see those right there. And again, it's because, it, and we didn't point it out, but you can see the flashing right here on either side of this door. It's cut short. So again, this stick of molding was replaced by somebody. This is PVC. This is PVC. It didn't, they didn't caulk it. <laughs> it just kills me, but it proves the point. Because this never rotted, now you're dealing with a more expensive repair on the frame. And because this house is stucco, there's a lot of moisture in there. You can see all the ants coming through the crack. He's probably got termites in there as well. And carpenter ants that we've seen on the house. Don't do this stuff to your house. It, the contractors sell it like it's a big upgrade. What they're really doing is they can't make the angle cuts that we can to repair the rotted brick molding. So they tell you, you got to replace the whole stick. And if you knew what he was doing, he would have extended this flashing out to here. It should be three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half beyond the edge. Look where it is. It's inside the outside edge of this new brick molding. But this is what happens to people. So we can't get everywhere. It's just me, my brother, and a, a band of guys who've been doing this stuff for 25 years. Most of the stuff my brother and I do are the same kind of things our dad did and, and his dad before him. At the right side above this roof line right here, there's about seven or eight rows of siding that need to be replaced. This is LP siding, so it's basically wood chips and glue. If he tries to spray paint this house, it'll never pass an inspection. It'll look good until it gets inspected, 
and then they're gonna go board by board and tell him how much he has to replace. The siding is still salvageable. If you come in here with one or two coats of hand applied duration and you caulk every nail head, the siding is still good. He's got a few places to replace, but it sure is a lot cheaper to just replace in spot places instead of replacing all of this siding. You don't wanna go there with this stuff. So this stuff is decent in here still. All this siding is in good shape. We can salvage all this. The gutters pulled away at these inside corners. And again, you can see all the debris right here. If you see this on your gutters, you see streaking and you see downspouts leaking like that, they only leak because they're clogged. If you see all this debris that's all along his gutters, it should have told him long ago that they weren't cleaning his gutters properly. Now he knows. Uh, and it's hard, you know, we point things out to people. We're not trying to be mean. We're not trying to have you spend more money than you need to. And most homeowners just like this fellow here, they just want reasonable, do good work for a reasonable price and you'll stay plenty busy. And that's how we are. Uh, we started shooting these videos for our guys to use for the bids and then homeowners wanted them. They became more of a marketing piece as well. And it kills me because if I'd gotten to this homeowner about five years ago, we could have saved him a lot of money. And so here at the rear, uh, we call this the barbecue deck. You got the nose on this window, the left and right mold and the inner frames are rotted. We can repair that as well. Because there's no kick out flashing here at this gutter and the gutter wasn't clean, you can see all the streaking around it. See the streaking coming down the side? So the water's actually getting between the gutter and the siding. Because these edges weren't caulked and sealed well and painted, it's rotted five rows of siding between these windows. We'll replace just those five rows with grain hardy plank. Once it's painted, you'll never notice it. At the triple window here, he's got some rot in both of the centers and the nose. We can't piece in a nose repair like the clown did on the front of the house. We make it a solid piece, back primed all the way around. If any of our trim replacements ever fail, we'll come replace it for free. There's probably another cause because we back prime and seal our wood. We're only using premium materials. We don't use cheap stuff. Some guys do, we don't. Uh, but this can all be repaired. He's got some rot here at the, at the double window on what we call the patio side of the deck. The nose is rotted. The right side mold and brick mold here in the corner is rotted. At the uh, triple window over here, you got three rows of LP siding rot right here. See the wave and the wrinkle in these pieces? It just lets you know they're shot. He's got right rot at the right side frame and molding at this entry door. And then we're not gonna be able to get it too well, but he's got five rows of siding on either edge of this Eden kitchen roof uh, that we'll replace with hardy plank as well. And then on the triple window, the center window, the sash, and the right window, the sash, we'll have to repair both of those. Those are extremely difficult repairs to make. We do it, it just takes time and material and know-how and specialized tools. Most contractors would tell him he's got to replace this whole triple window. The same thing they told him uh, about the front. And here again, you look, okay, here was a contract came in here a couple years ago. He replaced this center, he replaced this center, and he replaced this bright, the, this right brick mold. Look at the gap at the bottom. He never caulked anything. So his new nose that he put in here is gonna start rotting out too. It's baffling to me, people. But once you point it out, you can see it. And because he didn't caulk and seal this edge properly and didn't replace this brick mold, that one's rotted out now. The good thing about most of what we do is it's common sense. You point it out to people and they get it. But it's, it's all in the pointing out <laughs> and that takes time to do. If you look at over this roof line right here, We've got four or five rows of siding in this area right here. You gotta have an inch to two inches clear on any siding to the roof line, especially with LP. Despite what you hear, LP siding is not a defective siding. This house is pushing 30 years of age. Most of the siding is in great shape. And when we paint it with duration with a brush, we can get the bottom edge of the siding so it'll seal it and it'll pass inspection. That's what we're looking for. I'd much rather have a, a, a quality paint job. It saves me the cost of replacing my siding. At the left side chimney here, on either side, there's some cracks in the stuck on the need to be repaired. There's no kick out flashing where these gutters hit. It's hard to see in the camera, I know. And the telltale sign is down here. This bottom plate will have to be replaced. The edges have a metal corner bead and they've cracked. It's gonna be almost impossible to get this on the video probably. There you go, see that black line? That's what's sucking moisture. So between the cracks and the kick out, that's what's rotted this bottom plate. We've got some settling here above the basement door. We'll fix this crack as well. We're not gonna come in and fix all this flashing. We'll caulk each edge and seal it. At the basement door on the left side, the right side frame is rotted out, we'll fix that. This is that same contractor that came in here and did this fix. He put wooden drip cap up here to replace the, the broken and the cut short metal flashing. But look at what he did with his wooden cap. A, we wouldn't have done it this way. B, it should be out here. 
it's cut flush with the brick mold. So eventually this caulking will fail and you'll be back to square one again. Some of these guys are really well-meaning, but they really don't know what they're doing. This guy had grease on his fingers. And so every, every caulk, you see all the black dots on his caulk lines? Because he had that grease in there and didn't clean anything, it molded everywhere you went. And then when you get back over here in this corner where you need to secure this downspout, we'll flush the downspouts and clean everything. It's not gonna be able to, you can't see it real well, but when you look in this corner right here, the left front corner fascia and soffits rotted out as well. So there's his run through. I've been out here doing this stuff for 25 years in Atlanta. Uh, I hate to say how old I am, but I've been on jobs for since I was five, six years old. So figure it out. But we've got hundreds of years of experience across our crews here. This is a beautiful house. It won't take much to turn it around. You can see now a little more clearly this bottom sash in this foyer window. That's a tough repair. Will it focus for us? Yep, there you go. See it? Lower sash is rotted, mullions rotted. We can fix all that stuff. Just take some time and money and know-how. Been here a long time. Happy to help you out. 770-912-2829. We've got a bunch of trucks out there, but usually I'm in this little one right here. So wave or honk when you see us. You can find us online at handyandyfixedit.xyz. See you at the next house. Bye for now.